How are we all? Welcome to yet another video of Swap to Green. Some of my friends have been asking me about what would be the best air purifying indoor plants and I thought this would be the best opportunity for me to talk about some really cool and easy growing plants. I've also been thinking of making a video with home decorating ideas with indoor plants. So today we'll cover both of these topics in this one video. You already know that gardening is therapeutic. It also beautifies our homes and purifies the air around. So today let's go across to the beautiful homes of two of my friends and see how gardening changed the looks of their residence. The pandemic forced many of us to stay indoors and a direct impact has been the spike in indoor activities. Can you believe? It's estimated that over 24 million have taken up gardening around the world this past year. While we look at these beautiful homes and their decoration, let's also talk about some easy growing indoor plants that you can plant at home. Here you are welcomed by golden pothos, sedums, anthuriums and many more plants. Philodendron Brazil offers a colorful twist on a classic house plant and is surprisingly easy to care for. Water about once a week and allow the topsoil to dry out between waterings. Avoid overwatering. While it can survive in low light conditions, your Brazil will show its variegation best in medium to bright indirect light. You can either keep your Brazil in a hanging pot and let its leaves trail down or you can train it to grow upwards by using supports. This plant is considered a fast grower. You know this one. It's a very popular indoor plant grown in homes and offices the world over. The peace lily, also called the white sails. It's hardy, low maintenance and yet striking to look at. This pretty little powerhouse can purify the air in your home stripping out harmful chemicals, making it the perfect choice for the kitchen or bathroom. The next in the list is the golden pothos or money plant or ceylon creeper. This ultimate house plant requires little to no care and capable of growing in dim light, is evergreen and available in stunning varieties. It comes close to the definition of unkillable. It's also really easy to propagate, so you can share it around the home or with family and friends. Yeah. Did you take any special care for this one? No, nah, it's same. I think it just needed like a... I've noticed like some plants, they don't need too much sunlight, like those potos. Hmm. Like indirect sunlight is enough for them. So indirect light is the best okay, way for, those plants. for this one. Yeah. yeah. So these are the potos. Repotting is a great idea, but not this giant as she is comfortable in her little corner. Next in the list is spider plants or aeroplane plants. There's so much to love about these plants. It's as hardy and adaptable as you like. So for very little effort, you'll get great rewards. Not the least of which is that these plants are air purifying warriors. Place a few of them in large spaces to feel the full benefit. Now let's meet mother-in-law's tongue. It's none other than the snake plant. This plant scores 10 out of 10 for hardiness. This resilient beast is also stylish, showy and currently bang on trend. It makes an impact wherever you choose to place it. Due to its sculpture vibes, this plant is known to purify the air and you might want to place it in the bedroom where it will work while you sleep. Now, let's meet my next friend. As 
soon as we enter the home, we are welcomed by a huge palm tree. Followed by Swedish ivy. Monstera plants. Spider plant. And peace lily. If you are looking for an evergreen, succulent, prolific and hardy plant, look no further than a jade plant. They are known to bring prosperity to the owner and the best position for them would be the entrance of the house. They can grow with minimal intervention and very easy to propagate. Hence, they are also known as friendship plant. Cut off a few stems, place them in a glass and share with a friend. This one belongs to the philodendron family and you can see how beautifully it has taken shape. Being with nature itself is so positive and life changing. Through this channel I have been propagating going back to nature and our roots. In today's urban setting, gardening is the only practical way to engage with nature. There are many more indoor plants I would like to talk about. But I'll do them as different episodes. I hope you found this video useful in selecting your next indoor plant. A special thanks to both my friends who were happy to show their cute plants with their beautiful home decor. That's all for now friends. This is Swapna signing off. Till we meet again, think green, act green, swap to green.